Hi, what's up guys? It's Bashar and welcome back to my adventure series traveling around the world in 80 days. Today I am heading back to visit Taipei again in the last day of my trip in Taiwan before I leave and start a new chapter of this amazing journey around the world in 80 days. This is 101. Oh my! <laughs> Today is my last day in Taiwan and I am returning to Taipei where my flight will take me to Vietnam. So I have only two short visits to Chai Kan Chek Memorial Hall, one of the most tourist attractions in Taipei. Then I am going to visit one of the tallest buildings in the world, Taipei 101. Keep watching this video to see the beauty of Asia within these two amazing places in Taipei. <laughs> this is me. The Chai Kan Chek Memorial Hall is a national monument and the most tourist attractive in Taipei. It was erected in memory of Chai Kan Chek, former president of Taiwan. A park surrounds it, stands at the east end of Memorial Hall Square, and is flanked north and south by the National Theater and National Concert Hall. After President Chai Kan Chek died on 5 April 1975, the executive branch of the government established a foreigner committee to build a memorial. Groundbreaking for the memorial took place on 31st October 1976, the 90th anniversary of Chai's birth. The hall officially opened on 5 April 1980 the fifth anniversary of the leader's death.
The memorial hall is white with four sides. The roof is blue and octagonal, a shape that picks up the symbolism of the number eight, a number traditionally associated in China with abundance and good fortune. Two sets of white stairs, each with 89 steps to represent Chiang's age at the time of his death, lead to the main entrance. The ground level of the memorial houses, a library, and a museum documenting Chiang Kai Chek's life and career, with exhibit detailing Taiwan's history and development. The upper level contains the main hall, where a large statue of Chai Kai Chek is located, and where a guard monitoring ceremony occurs at regular intervals. <laughs> أنا وحبيبي أجمل اثنين أوه ماي جودنس سو بيوتيفل زيرون يا بعدها ببعه داك شلون سني باك كلفرتا من يامي The main building is placed at the east end of the Chai Kan Chek Memorial Park, covering over 240,000 square meters in Zhongzing district. A main gate, the gate of great centrality and perfect uprightness, was placed at the west end of Zhuangshan South Road with a gate of great loyalty standing at the north side of Xingyi Road and the gate of great piety standing at the south side Aiku East Road, a boulevard of homage bordered by manicured bushes, connected the main hall with the square.
Taipei 101, also known as the Taipei World's Financial Center, is a skyscraper officially classified as the world's tallest from its opening on 31st December 2004. However, the Burj Khalifa surpassed Taipei 101 in 2010. It becomes the world's first skyscraper to exceed a height of half a kilometer, about 0.3 miles. As of 2023, Taipei 101 is the tallest building in Taiwan and the 11th tallest building in the world. The elevators of Taipei 101 that transport passengers from the 5th to the 89th floor in 37 seconds, attaining 60.6 km per hour, 37.7 mile per hour, set speeds records. The height of building is 508 meter. Opened on December 31st, 2004. Number of floor 101. So this is Taipei 101. So this 101, very higher. That was my visit to Taiwan. For 11 amazing days, I discovered the beauty of Asia for the first time in my life. In the next video, I will show the most exciting places that I stopped in Taiwan. So don't miss that video as I will summarize the amazing 11 days of my trip in Taiwan in a few minutes. See you in the next video, but before you leave, don't forget to give a thumb up to this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next videos. See you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.